Sean Jordan here with another MJRL Hobby Stuff video. Today, please hit that subscribe button so that you know when it's time to hang out with the boys. Today, something very, very different. This is the Snap Together plastic model from Polar Lights. Marvel Comics Wolverine. Um, skill level 2, ages 10 and plus. No glue required. Uh, some classic images of Wolverine on the box here. Making sure you know it's snapped together with no glue required. This is what the kit is supposed to look like after it's all done. Uh, some nice... It's over 8 inches tall. That's cool. Chrome-plated adamantium claws. Marvel Comics Wolverine comes with this sentinel-looking base head. There's a little blurb about Wolverine, but we pretty much all know everything there is to know about Wolverine. Uh, two head options. Mass and unmass. And a battle damage sentinel base and advertising for the Hulk truck, Spider-Man, and Captain America kits. Um, this is from 2013. I have no idea what to expect. Let's just check it out. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, okay. It's actually on runners. And it's, it's, it's plastic, guys. It's like, it's plastic plastic. Oh, look at that. Chrome adamantium. Neat. Okay. There we go. Uh, what is this? Round 2 Models 2013. Oh, advertising for their other models in the... Wow, that's just one long sheet of advertising. Scroll through that slowly so you guys can get a good idea of what, uh, I guess, uh, Polar Lights, other brands, models, cars, tanks... Tires, big rig trucks, trailers, uh, Back to the Future DeLorean, cars, cars. Oh, that, oh, oh, I want that one. Christine, that's cool. DeLorean, some Star Trek ships. Wow, cool. Some uh, retro movies. Oh, there we go. The Alien, there's the Wolverine, the Cap. And some airplanes. Okay, cool. Um, some kind of rewards thing. Oh, interesting. There's some decals. Wait, hold on. And the assembly guide. Looks pretty easy. Head. Head options. Arm. Arm. Torso. Legs, legs, sentinel head, uh, final assembly. Oh, I know what this is. This is those, those side Wolverine stripes, stickers. Okay. And then plugging in the adamantium claws and how to paint. Dry brow. Okay. 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 Neat. All right. Well, let's... um put it together and we'll be right back. all right everyone we are back it has been literally two years since i did the original unboxing of this uh this kit uh thanks again to tom weller at weller's hobby craft in kailua uh, uh um kailua oahu now not on hilo kailua oahu um he had this kit in stock um, it took me a long time because I just wasn't that good at modeling yet. Um, I used the various different techniques, a spray brush to get the um, the primer on, and I spray brushed, airbrushed uh, bits and pieces, but I just wasn't that good at airbrushing. So I put it on the side for two years, and then I started up my hand painting. So I went and ended up getting some of this... Um, game color paints to hand paint and um this and a little bit of tamiya's uh and uh yeah came out pretty good actually it's not perfect there are some you know small detail problems but you know the three foot rule uh basically says if you can see any flaws from three feet then it's a big flaw but otherwise it's pretty darn good um Again, this is the Polar Lights Wolverine model kit. 
I hope you liked how it turned out. I sure did. Um, please leave a like, a comment. If you've ever built one of these, uh, go to the Instagram and uh, maybe post a picture of what yours look like. This kit is very interesting. You see these decals here? I mean, the black stripes, they're actually water slide decals. Um, when they went on, they went on kind of wavy and bubbly, and I was like, oh boy, this is not good. So I used the Mark Setter, which is the, the glue, basically, that goes over water slides. And um, I hit it with some clear top coat. And yeah, they flattened out really, really, really nicely. I was surprised. Um, everything else, like I said, was either hand painted with and or with a little bit of dry brush um, or airbrush. A dry brush, airbrush, all of the above. Um, give them a little bit of weathering here and there. And yeah, turned out pretty, guard, pretty darn good. Here you go for a little bit of size comparison. This is my... 1100 the old school hg 1100 uh wing gundam e0 kit with the extra finish yeah so they're comparable i guess wolverine is just a shade taller uh, because he is standing on the sentinel head one more time again thank you to weller's hobbycraft kailua honolulu for having this guy and just being patient with me i told him i was going to do a review and give him a shout out like two years ago so here it is man here's the wolverine and the shout out to weller's hobbycraft this is jordan leave a like a comment a subscribe and a share this is mjrl hobby stuff see ya